Hello and happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. We're back. We are. We, we took a week off. <laughs> uh, uh, we did, what, yeah. We tried, a, we tried an adventure. Uh, we're gonna, first time we've ever ridden bikes together. And... and less, uh, just one, just slightly over one mile into it. Uh, I don't know what was happening, but I was riding straight ahead on a flatland with an open road. And the next thing I remember was walking into the ER. Um, I evidently had a huge crash, and uh, you can see here. The bottom line is this. I had, um, uh, I have road rash all over my entire right side of my body and a little bit of my left side of my body. I have, uh, I have a concussion. I, uh, it broke the helmet, but I was wearing a helmet. This is important. And, uh, and I have a messed up, uh, I have compressed vertebrae. Um, <laughs> I'm a half inch shorter believe it or not true story and uh, and my shoulder is still very messed up but I'm alive and well mainly because I was wearing a helmet and I have someone who's taking care of me so that oh, is God. why I did not release a video last week we are not doing a crazy like fitness adventure because <laughs> he <me>. can't <laughs> uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna road trip it and we're gonna stop at McDonald's and start this trip <laughs> off right have you ever passed a uh, through Prim here and you want to stop at Buffalo Bills, there is this roller coaster called El, I think it's called El Dorado. And it's a great roller coaster. It doesn't look like much, but it actually is, it's great. And I think it's like 10 bucks to ride. We found this, uh, it's apparently an abandoned water park. So we're gonna try and get there. So if you want to go to the abandoned water park, you have to drive up another about five miles and get off of Mineola Road. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to cross over to the left and we're going to be like riding this little side road, road back, basically. frontage road, all the way back to the abandoned water park. Trying to look good for you. Welcome to Lake Dolores Water Park, <laughs> also known as Rockahula Water Park. This is an abandoned water park off of the I-15 we're about 10 miles from Barstow. Um, this water park, I come to learn, opened in May of 1962 and it closed in 2004. So we're gonna, we're gonna go check out, see if we can find anything interesting. I mean, it looks like it's got tons of graffiti, but it looks kind of cool. So let's go. Some pretty fresh graffiti. some kind of like power tool, like a drill, like a <laughs> So, it's a little scary, but. Do you hear that? It's a drone, it's not a drill. It's a drone. DR, DR, drone drill, I mean, same thing. I kind of wish we brought some spray paint to leave our mark. If you are into street art, this is the place for you. This is your dream. Welcome to the water park. The water park. Okay. This looks like this would be the lazy river. See, it just goes a little bridge and doo -doo 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 -doo. Now we're gonna go up to the slides. <laughs> Where that little white pool is in the distance, where the poles are sticking out, my guess is that was probably some children's environment where they had like trees that would spray water, stuff like that. Um, I don't know if this place had a wave pool. How do I know so much about water parks? I was a lifeguard at one. Can't believe it went out of business. A water park in the middle of the desert? Who knew? Watch out for Bigfoot. Whatever you do, sis, keep it cute, sis. Thanks, sis. Nice view up here. This would have been the big, the big slide. I've passed this thing for years on the side of this highway, and always wondered about it. And now we're here. See? Kind of um, cool. Yeah. Think about, think about the things that you have that you see all the time, but you don't know what they are, but you don't take the time to figure it out, right? That's one of the things that's great about Kimberly. She's like, okay, let's figure it out. And so now I'm getting to do all those things. See? Really cool. I am here to make your dreams come true, babe. Oh, 
<laughs> so you see there's one run here and two runs there. That means the, the two on the left here probably went dip, 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 and the one on the right was straight down. And if you look at this big guy here to the left, this is probably the one where they use the big fat tubes, like the Congo Rapid type tubes. See, I know everything about water parks. <laughs> Make sure the dog is hydrated. Lake Dolores Water Park. Win. Yes. It's worth just going and just walk around, take 15 minutes, just stroll through the place. It's so cool. It's really, really cool, especially if you like abandoned things, that is your jam. If you like street art, if you like abandoned things. Drones. Dro <laughs> if you like drones, yep. Uh, those drone people were like hardcore. They were like doing tricks. They had tables and monitors. Like it was hardcore. So now we saw a sign for some monastery. Down a dirt road. Down a dirt road. Hmm. So while we're at it, why not? St. Anthony Monastery. Down a dirt road. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, yep. Copic. Coptic Cop Orthodox Patriarchate. Monastery of the Great St. Anthony. Uh-huh. And it looks like it's got Eastern, uh, like, Arabic-ish, or Turkish, maybe Turkish. Alrighty, interesting. We, they welcome all visitors from 9 to 6. Uh, 6 I guess COVID won't let us in. There you go, guys. St. Anthony Monastery. It's very, it's got that uh, Greek... Turkish look yeah. about it. Very Eastern. Um, we wish we could go in, but sorry. So we're headed off to the next abandoned place that we can find. Next up, Calico Ghost Town. Three miles. Uh, three miles. Here we are. Welcome to Calico. And these are the colorful Calico Hills. That's what I read. <laughs> if you want to come here uh, to the Calico Ghost Town, it's $8 per person. Five dollars for kids, or you could buy an annual pass, which I don't know. Thank you. This is truly a wild, wild west type experience. <laughs> it's the U.S. Marshal Office. With little lace curtains. Here we are. This place is great already. I got a brochure, <laughs> free brochure. It cost eight dollars, I guess. Uh, Apparently this town was something 127 years ago. It was born in March 1881. Uh, it produced $86 million in silver. And the town population was 1,200 people with 22 saloons. Wow. That's, that's interesting. Um, it had a Chinatown and a red light district. Uh, there were 500 mines here. Pretty crazy. Um, when the price of silver dropped, from $1.31 an ounce to $0.63, cents, Calico became a ghost of its former self. Now let's go check it out. It's a shame it's not lunchtime. It's a shame I'm not hungry yet. Fried chicken dinner. $17.95 for fried chicken. Goodness gracious. I guess that's an old school fire engine. It is an 1888 steam fire engine. <laughs> the town hall. That's where people got married and stuff and divorced. They did that back then. <laughs> a Chinese bathtub. So this is where you get like a massage. A back rub and a full scrub. Back scrub, full scrub. <laughs> this is where you get your Chinese massage. It's the old school version of foot reflexology right here. Get your scrub and your back rub. Definitely original. I only knew that because he said it. <laughs> <laughs> it's original. This is original. They didn't have electric, but they had Zoltar. Time to get your wish. Zoltar will tell you. <gasps> Come closer and listen to what Zoltar has to tell you. Dream as if you'll live forever. Live as if you'll die today. That's right. You must live your days as if they were your last. Because one day, they will be. You know what I mean. 
So go on, have fun, and surrender more cash for more wisdom from the great Zoltar. That looks original. Oh yeah, this definitely looks original. Gosh, what is with the flowers? And then this looks original up here. Hmm. It's a bunkhouse. There's a cot inside there. It's like they're carved out of the side of the mountain, and it's a little cave cot. Oh, <laughs> let's take a look. Hmm. That's original. <laughs> Near this spot in 1882, the schoolboy found a silver leaning rock leading his to his discovery of the $65,000 glory hole. Is that the hole? Where's the hole? Is that the glory hole? As you can see, this town is actually kind of big. They have a whole bunch of stuff. In the brochure, it had like 20 something little stops you can make. Freaked me out. Uh, uh, gotcha. Oh, the general store. Here's why this is so creepy. Because it looks like right next to it, there's a bunch of medieval torture devices. And the fact that all these gowns are white. Got the community board here. Uh, that one. Sheriff, <laughs> check out the jail. What? Wife ran off with best friend and dog. If seen, send dog home. <laughs> we highly recommend Calico Ghost Town. Sure, absolutely. It was a lot of fun. It was worth the eight bucks. There was plenty to do, plenty to look at, plenty of shops. Historical, you like, you know, the learning about the history and the old west and all of that it's it's pretty accurate totally fun go yep back on the road we are going to the pioneer saloon uh we're going to take you there we're going to have a burger and some onion rings since that seems to be the trend <laughs> uh <laughs> it is and we're going to give you a history lesson when you get there it's a really cool place a lot of history there um, it's not far from Prim. It's in a town called Jean. Uh, so there's an exit off 15, Jean, Good Spring. It's about 45 minutes to an hour from Vegas. It's known, as the, it's known as the Gold Strike Exit. Gold Strike Exit. Um, anyway, so you have to go through the desert, through this nothing town to get there, and we'll uh, show you when we get there. Here we are at the infamous Pioneer Saloon. Pioneer Saloon opened in 1913, but this bar top is from the 1800s, all original. And look at the ceiling. The ceiling has this original tin, so do the walls. But the best part is this, gunshots. This was a gunshot from 1915 when a guy named Paul Kosky died from cheating in a card game. Let's go into the Carol Lombard and Clark Gable room. This is in memorial of the plane crash where Clark Gable waited for many, many hours to hear that his wife, Carol Lombard, had passed away in a plane crash on Mount Potosi that killed 22, right there, in 1942. So we ordered a little house salads, and they have smiley faces in them. All of smiley faces. All of smiley faces, too. <laughs>